Wasting some time here with the Tier 7 Japanese battleship, the Nagato, on the uh, straight map. That's what you're going to be seeing. Uh, I really do like the Nagato. Uh, I like to play it as a bit of a brawler, man, because the decent to good secondaries it has, as a, a lot of secondaries, they go out to uh, 6k, and I just got invited to a division. Anyways, we're going to keep that in there, because we do these in one take, and that's it. Yeah. Whole uh, Lego movie. I don't know if you've seen that, uh, but uh, first try. Anyway, so uh, Nagato. It's a pretty good ship. I do like it. Probably one of, the, one of the last videos I'll do for it for a while. Uh, mainly because I'm kind of using this and the Miyoko for division battles. And you don't really get a lot of really big monster games in uh, division, not division battles. Ranked battles because there's only seven people. You can't go and kill six people most of the time. It's not uh, mainly a, a time and the size of the enemy team kind of constraint. Anyways, hope you enjoy it. Uh, to got to a battle. Come back and see me. Alrighty then. Wasting some time here. Tier 7 Nagato. I may cut some of this out. So you may not hear this. You may just wait uh, till we engage the enemy. If not, you're going to hear me ramble for about a, a good solid minute. Here on straight with uh, Seminoles FSU. Guy I uh, know I play with. Uh, play some World of Warships with often. Or semi often anyways domination mode on this three caps in the middle a b and c still don't really know if i like this uh game mode i'm kind of just there's a bug in my office right now yeah okay i'm staring it down it left all right intimidating the bugs anywho going into uh Kind of just the northern area at an angle a bit. See who we can uh, find and engage. It came back. Damn bug is still here. I may have to go uh, attempt to kill this thing. If it doesn't stop buzzing me. Anyway, yeah. I don't really know a good strategy on this yet. I haven't really de developed what I think. There's a Colorado we get to uh, shoot at. Its name is Boomer Owen. I don't know how he wants to pronounce that, and I've been a big old noob and not changing my uh, rounds to AP there for my opening salvo. But always shoot what you have in the guns. It's my opinion, anyways. So Seminoles is in the Pensacola. He's still in the mostly stock Pensacola, I believe. I think I don't know if he has anything upgraded on it, but yeah, he's in the. Uh, painful stage of the Pensacola and that Colorado is about to hurt me yeah and so goes the, enemy team has taken the, the opening lead. of my game which is always fun you get an over penetration on the Omaha I should have just ignored the Omaha I mean I really just should have but I really like killing the cruisers, so uh, they don't have that support and that firepower, and I don't have to worry about them. Can be a mistake sometimes. So I got that nice, healthy uh, smash in the beginning. I'm running away. And I did not notice until it was too late that the torpedo bombers were coming in on that side of me, and I'm trying to turn away, and but... Seminoles and I were just uh, caught out of position a little bit. It does happen. He did have his ability up, so it did uh, do a widespread. So we both just caught one. A bit of what looks like almost a replay bug with the shells coming in. Uh, like, the, it doesn't. Sometimes it looks like it doesn't actually track the entire shell travel for some reason. I don't know what that is about. But we're going to deal with it. Alright. Click back into the game here. And all I'm getting right now are the overpins on the Omaha still. Get ourselves turned back around. Not the uh, the best opening minutes of a game I've ever had. 
gonna admit that. And those guys are when they do hit me, they are landing uh, solid hits, which is it's always fun. And here I am, still trying to shoot that stupid Omaha or the, both the Omahas. Show them a broadside, people. And that guy turned into my shells nicely. Three hits. Hardly any damage. Always irritating. Two more hits for a little bit of damage. Looks like the... Uh, I don't know who, who landed that on him, but it looked like at least the... Two, three Citadel hits from a cruiser. Fighter ready for takeoff. Our fighter is returned. And he's just uh, doing some radical maneuvering, but I'm getting smashed out here. Finally decided to return some fire. Seminoles gets that Omaha. So I don't have to worry about him, and I get uh, two hits for 6,000. Not great, not terrible. It is what it is. It's kind of okay. Anyways, there's a Colorado in front of me. Boomer, he's still up. Turning in, trying to avoid some of these shells. Get a better angle. A bit tired of taking damage from what's his name? Titus. Damn it, Titus. You're not supposed to play smart if you're fighting me, and I get two hits for a bounce. Those just those do look like they hit his uh, hit his armor belt at like a really high angle, which I mean that doesn't do any good for me. Anyways, on the mini map, you might notice that Colorado is headed straight for us, and that closing speed is going to be impressive. So I turn over, try to get my bat guns on him. He is right now shooting at uh, Seminoles. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. And you got a. At least I would assume he got two Citadel hits on Seminoles right there. And he just completely ignores me for uh, the next solo, also. Congo's still shooting at me. And he gets behind the island, and it's too late for that. Try to turn back out a bit. Better angle for the Congo shells to come in. Decide to hold off on those rounds and uh, go after this Colorado, because this Colorado is nice and close. I don't think I actually see the volley that goes out. That Seminoles and uh, takes him out, but I got this guy. A nice Citadel hit. Enemy battleship sunk. And there's another Congo coming around. Just uh, really convenient uh, for these battleships to get around here. All convenient like. Looks like that Congo is the one that got him, I'm gonna guess. Just try it, maybe. Another a nice Citadel hit. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Two battleships down. We used our repair, didn't really do too much for us. There comes a Nagato, full health, 65,000. Put some shots out to this guy. And they look pretty before they get there. Double Citadel hit. And just a, a nice, nice hit on our, our second set of uh, shells. 
And there are the rounds from the Nagato going out to uh, Seminoles. And Seminoles is down. Is the uh, pain that is the Pensacola early, early grind. Get uh, another nice big citadel on that guy. Our shots are just flying perfect. Like everything I shot at this guy was just a, a nice, perfect dispersion. Almost getting to the island because I'm trying to uh, get my bat guns in for that last saddle, though. We have managed to keep it from. Uh, Keep ourselves from the loss here, killing those battleships, that really helped. Do have a, a brave lone Mayankazi down at uh, I-6 going after that independence. That gentleman also uh, putting up a good effort. Killing the uh, independence down there. Put shots out that Omaha because he was chasing our, our Minkazi friend there. We don't want none of that. Same thing with this uh, Miyoko. Razor's Kiss. That's an interesting name. Two Citadel hits on that gentleman. And you know he's uh, not enjoying anything right now. Kind of mess that shot up a bit, bit of, of a of a whiff. When I say a bit of a whiff, it was a basically an entire just complete failure. Kind of changed angles on me there a bit. Uh, the first shells were decent shot, better RNG. <laughs> Get a slight hit on that uh, last salvo. Looking at that Omaha at the moment. And keep my eye on this Congo that's coming around. He is, uh, if I know anything about the Nagato, this guy is in really dangerous range as far as the damage I can do to him. Okay. Get down to this range, the Nagato is uh, halfway accurate. Unless you get one of those. <laughs> no <laughs> hit with no damage. That's incapacitation. Kind of like a, a track hit on uh, World of Tanks. Doesn't really do much, but it says you did something. Our armor is actually halfway decently effective this way against those guns. He's still showing me that broadside, which I appreciate. All four shots hit. Get our Confederate. And our friendly carrier decides to put, uh, I think that was at least two torpedoes. Yeah, that was two torpedoes. There's four left. Very next salvo. Hi, Caliber. Nagato is just a good ship. They start putting some damage into me right here. And in a dangerous place for all three of these guys. And right when I was talking about how good my dispersion was, it fails me. He has come to pretty much a stop right there. Aiming for right under the smokestack. Two of my shells go there. And he is down. And this Omaha. Omaha, you get that close to a battleship. <laughs> That's what happens to you. Now we have our friendly Miyoko that we shot earlier. He would have... See, he was turning away there. Then he decides to turn back in. My shell's completely split and just uh, going on both sides of him. But he turned back in. That was a big mistake. Torpedoes from the Omaha, and now we're oh, momentary panic. Just in time to see the Miyoko take the Citadel hit. 
pretty nice game to get nine citadels in a match. That's why I like getting close in my battleships and trying to get some damage out. I was thinking about chasing this guy at first, but then I was uh, thinking that would probably not be the best move. Let's probably just kind of go for the cap. Turn back over, go for the cap. Looking for the shot, though. See if we can hit this guy. Replay kind of freaked out there for a second with the cursor. Not good shots. Not like the worst shots I've ever made, but the odds of me hitting that are really slim. Very marginal chances of hitting. Getting into the cap. Excuse me. A bit of a yawn right there. And the Minkazi. It, it looks like he grounded himself and got torpedoed. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could have. Yeah, I should have taken, taken the replay. Took him. The Englishes, I'm so good at them. Taken the replay. And gone over there, but I did not. But it looks like he just now started had them got started a bit. He had stopped there. And it looks like the dive bombers or torpedo bombers missed. But he has a Miyoko in his face. Our victory is in sight. And we're just sailing a boot here now. Huh? On high seas. At sea. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> I think he's just keeping that guy spotted with the uh, torpedo bombers. That's a good call on the uh, carrier. Fighter part. ready for takeoff. Miyoko turned away because I would assume he had torps launched at him. I'm just watching the mini map right now. And he's down. Destroyer. Not the destroyer. The carrier got him. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Come back and see me.